Okay, hi guys, this is Default, and today I'm going to show you how to make a blender in G11, or 10, whatever you want to call it. The first thing you're going to need is a base, which I'm making now. It's going to be 4x4 in Phoenix mod. Now you're going to want to make a box um, without a lid, just to get the foundations of the blender thing. And I'll just skip to the meat box. There we go, there's the meat box. As you can see, it hasn't got a lid, hasn't got any way to get into it. Just not a straight box. So the first thing they're going to do to this box is make a ramp up to it. So you need two 2x4 two Phoenix mod things. You can use whatever you want, but I'm just using metal because it looks better. Uh, just, just to me. Maybe to you. Anyway, this... I'll just connect them up properly, somehow. There we go. Okay, we just attach this to the top of the thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a ramp to get up to, into the blender. Or onto. I'll just get this in a second. Yep. Just cut off. Now weld it to the blender and the ground. By the way, everything has been welded to the ground so far as well. Okay, so I've changed the ramp to be better now. It's more, it's, per it's perfect to the thing, so yeah. And now, as you still see it doesn't have a lid, so this is what, what we're going to make now. I need 2x4 and 2x2. Two two. I don't know what I'm doing there, but just attach them to the top, leaving one small hole opposite ramp. I'll just put this on. It'll just, yeah. <laughs> and now the other, the other bit. Put this one on as well. Oh, okay, that's the wrong side. You don't put it on the wrong side, you put it on the right side. That's the right side. Okay, again, it's not perfect, but it doesn't really matter about this bit. Now, you look at it, it's got a lid. Lid there. What you need now, most blenders have a hole to throw, throw things in, so we're going to make that now with this tube. Just so you know, you should never use smart snap on circular things because it does that. Yeah, just use it on the bits that you can see. That will work. And you attach it into there. And weld it to everything, it's good to go. Now you want to be in you want to be able to see inside this blender, don't you? So we're going to take away most of the alpha in it with the colour tool. Okay, that's that's the wrong one. There we go. Hang on, now I can see that it's a little bit green, so I'll just do them again. Doesn't really matter, but I like to be perfect with this because it's a good thing that I like to do. Make a blender. Okay, make everything, including the floor. And there you go, now you can see inside your blender. Now we need to make the spinny bits that blend. I'm going to use wheels for this. I'm going to use this wheel. Just put this with lots and lots of power. Okay, it's it's not working. Put this onto the scale. If you want the wheel to work, you're going to have to um put it in starting with the thing on the scale of the torque. 
and then if you want to move it up you can just do that easily like as I'm doing now see it works now and I'll just add a bunch of nines to it okay and now it kills me that's, that's what I wanted okay now you add saw blades as wheels same same basic thing when them in the same direction, I think. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, same key to turn them on. You can you can do this all with wire as well, but I can't be bothered to do it. It's too different. Okay, that works. That works well. That's... I think that's your basic blender. You can... I'll show you put some breakable objects in there once I'm finished looking at this going in and out. Don't know why I was doing that. But I will. Okay, now I put a single box into the blender. Just watch it. Put it into the hole. And now we just go around and explode the wood thing. This can also work with NPCs, with a head crab. Always be careful with that thing, because it can eat me. Put it in, and it just went. And my screen just went really weird. I wrong. So now I'm gonna make a button to turn it on and off. I'm gonna say, put put the thing in the thing with blend on slash off. Let's use whatever button model you want. I'm just gonna use the first one. Okay, put that there. Press it. And it turns off the blender, eventually, it takes a minute, I'm just going to stop it quickly, because I can. There you go. Blender is stopped. Then press it again, and it goes. So that's your basic blender. I hope it's been good use to you, and yeah, thanks for watching.